So I did try that coffee. You know, I usually like things like that, but it was really bogging. I really did not like it. So I just went back to tea in Olivia's cup. Good old tea, you can't beat it. So welcome, hello. This week I promised it would be all about hats and it is going to be. There are some good hats, there are some rubbish hats, there are some really good hats and there are hats that are really good and then I messed up. So uh, I'll show you the footage of the first one that I did. All the hats. <laughs> okay, so this is the hat that you see me doing in that footage. I did do a test on one of my test hats from a previous video and I burnt the edges with a blowtorch because I thought it looked really cool. And it did, it worked really well on the test hat. And then I did it on this one and it didn't quite work out as well. There are some patches that look quite good, but there are some patches that are just a bit too burnt. I think it was different kind of, it must be like a mixed felt or something with other fabric, other fibers and stuff in it. So it didn't quite work out as well. It did singe the pattern off and all the detail on the moth. So I think if you're gonna burn hats, possibly singe the edges and stuff first and then burn the picture on the top but you know if I hadn't made the mistake I wouldn't know what to do and I would have done it anyway at some point so I used this one as a practice and did a little bit this is like one coat of gold paint so this is possibly another test hat I think it's the same hat as the sunflower one that I did, which is really pretty. So I know they look good when you burn them, just maybe not so much when you singe the edges. But I'll show you the one that I did that was a practice. I think I've got a little bit of footage of that. If I do, I will insert it now.
Okay, so hat number two, two, I think we're going with two, is this one, which as you can see, you could kind of see it in the footage, it was a bit dark. I was, uh, it was late at night, which is when you make mistakes when you're tired. So, you know, unless you're really good at working at night, don't make the mistakes I did. <laughs> so you can see that this one looks really bonny with the burnt edges, with the singed edges. And I really liked it. This is the test hat. Well, I bought two test hats and the other one was the mushroom one that I did in a previous video. And I really liked it and I was super chuffed with it. And then I thought, ah, I'm gonna do some cool zodiac signs and it'll look all vintagey and almost, you know, a filthy cowboy sort of look. But I didn't do as many lines as I should have all the way around so that I could put all the, the zodiac symbols in. And then I was three short and I was like, what, why did I do that? So I decided to put one on the front, which looks okay. You could add a few more bits and then at the back and it doesn't line up. And I was really annoyed. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I would do with this. It's just one of the test ones, but you know, like I said, if you don't make mistakes, you never learn from them. And then later on down the line, you make a mistake and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? So, also, I might sell this one. People keep leaving comments about the mushroom one. I might sell it a little bit cheaper, seeing as it is really pretty. It was just a test hat, but I think we should uh, move on to the hats that I really, really like. And I hope you guys like them too which you can see in the background. They are not finished, but I will show you some footage. Okay, so it turns out I don't have as much footage as I thought I did. I do, but I was filming it for shorts, so it's round the wrong way, doesn't really fit for these videos. So you kind of got the start of one of the hats, which was this one. And this one is going to be sun and moon, so it's not finished. There will be some bits here on this side for the moon, and then some more detail here, as well as some more bits in between. But these hats are so pretty. They're such good quality. They feel so nice and soft. They've got a really wide brim and they sit really nice as well. Designs on the inside? I think so. So, very, very happy with these. I can't wait to actually get them finished and pop them up in the shop, take some photos of them. And then we have this one which is snakes with moons. There obviously still will be some more bits and pieces, but I'm trying to take my time with these ones so that I don't mess them up because they are so nice. <laughs> so yeah, I am quite chuffed with this. Well, with these, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like at the end. I have ordered um, some white paint. So I've got white paint coming in because I want to do some detail on it and I think it would look nice with gold and white. So that's quite exciting. What 
There were a couple of questions that I had. One was, where do you get your hats? Now my hats, I can't tell you where I get these ones because that's just giving away too much. I'm already showing you guys how to do them, but I will keep where I get these hats to myself. But my test hats were just bought from a cheap website online. So if you're looking for cheap hats, just you just Google it, you'll find, you'll find loads. There's loads of companies out there. And the other thing was the tool. The tool is just a burning tool. I think it's called a, a pyrograph tool and you get them really cheap. You can get them pretty much anywhere online as well. Don't really want to be naming big companies and shops. So just, you know, take your pick wherever you want to go shopping. And that's it really. So I will have these finished and I will show you them next week. And next week, I have my fingers crossed that next week is going to be the shop update. Hopefully, if I get enough stuff done. The sale has now ended. So unfortunately, you cannot get any of the stuff that was in the shop before. But maybe in the future, I might hold a second sale or something with old stock. Who knows? But that's it for this week. If you like this video, please do subscribe because there is going to be more like it. And I will see you guys next week.